we've seen at the county fair and in museums. But here in this tiny room where the glass master works, right. even the wood must be beech wood. Artificially dried, for even the smallest amount of moisture in the wood would cloud the finished glass. And while we've been studying history, the work has been progressing. Watch how closely he concentrates on his work. Each ear of the dolphin must be just so. Each eye a perfect ruby. And the dolphin is completed but for a few final touches. Let us listen in for a few moments okay. as a real Venetian artist works. A piece of molten glass, a hollow rod, and the master makes a globe that will soon be a beautiful bowl. Additional glass is needed, and the apprentice brings a small portion on the end of another rod. It is added and patted into the required shape. Then more heating, and again the master rolls the end, just so, with his 900-year-old tools. Now the master has blown the mold and glass to the required size and the process of actually forming the bowl itself begins. Scissors and the glass is cut, just as you and I would cut a piece of cake. Every moment or so the glass is heated and a constant temperature maintained so that at no time will the glass be in danger of losing its brilliant color. And now it must change hands for the last time. A small drop of glass on a heated rod. It is brought to the master and with his scissors guiding the rod he makes the new one fast and taps away the old. Now the base is made ready. A little spot of glass. The base is brought over. Here it is. A moment of pressure, and then, presto, we have our loving cup. Simple, isn't it? But when you know that sometimes six or eight such cups have to be made before a perfect one obtained, when you consider the fact that it takes 24 hours to cool and will probably break during that time, then you realize master to do the work. <laughs> 